Hey everybody, this is Kevin again. I'm back with another Falcon tutorial and today I just want to help you understand the architecture a little bit better, especially when it deals with um, modulation and adding modulation to your programs. It can get a bit confusing because there's multiple layers of modulation and you have multiple layers in your program and so forth. So I'm gonna hopefully undo some of the confusion and help you get up and running and doing what you want to do. So let's get started. Um, the first thing to, to know is that uh, like when I first started looking at Falcon, I looked at this view and I thought, okay, this is the main view and this is where everything happens. But actually that's not completely accurate. It's better to think about this view as a display. And your true main view is going to be over here in your tree view. What you do here affects what happens here. So you can't really ignore this. You can't program a patch like this. You actually have to have this here to be able to effectively program a patch um, or a program. Uh, so where you are in this hierarchy will determine what happens when you start assigning modulation. So it's extremely important to pay attention to what happens here and to look at what's going on here. So for example, let's assign a LFO so we can get some vibrato. I have a sound set up here. It doesn't sound great, but it'll do for our purposes. So what we wanna do here is do a vibrato. And so here's a gain and it's at the program level. And right here, I'm at the program level. So let's go ahead and add modulation, go down here to program, add a new LFO. And we got some vibrato. Excellent. Um, so if we look over here, we see here's the vibrato. Um, here's LFO rather. And if we look under it, we see that it's assigned to volume on the program level. Pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy. And uh, let's try the same thing again, but we're gonna do it in a different way. If you look down here and here, there's also gain volumes there. So what if I wanna do a vibrato, but I wanna change the gain here? <clears throat> so one thing that is important to pay attention to is that if I look here, it says multiple selections. So whatever I do to anything on this uh, panel is gonna happen to more than one key group. So if I come here, right click, modulate. Now, if I look down here, I have more options. I have program, layer, and key group. So let's go ahead and try the same thing. We're gonna go to program and we're gonna go to new LFO. And let's play. <laughs> So again, exact same result, but if I look over here into my program, I see the LFO, but if I look and see what the assignments are, we have an assignment for each key group in the program. So same result, a different way of doing it. So why would you wanna do it this way as opposed to uh, doing it at the higher level? Well, maybe you want to modulate this one with a different LFO and uh, to make some sort of weird crosswise modulation. So you can also modulate at this level as well. But we have one LFO here, and so whenever we change this LFO, if I go here, if I click here, it'll show up down here. This is the LFO that's causing the modulation. So if I increase the frequency, increases and um, it increases the same for each of the key groups. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and, and remove this again. We're back to the unmodulated patch, but this time we're gonna try a little bit something different. Let's assign a modulation here, but we're gonna use a key group and modulator instead of the program like we did before. The list is pretty much the same here, but let's go ahead and do new LFO. So let's play it. Exact same result, but where's the LFO? Well, it's under each of these key groups here. If we look, here's an LFO, here's an LFO, here's one, and here's one. 
and that's the ones that I just created. So I created four LFOs in one shot because again, we're here for multiple selection and I assigned a key group level LFO. So that's what happens. Now, if I were not at the program level when I did this, if I was at a key group level, you see here it says key group one. So if I try to assign a modulation now, uh, let's just assign another LFO here. And uh, new LFO. So we assign two LFOs to, to this one for the same thing, which you would probably not do. But you see under this one, there's two LFOs and under all the other ones, there's just the one. So because I selected this key group, it only affects this one key group. But if I select the layer, like if I selected this layer and add an LFO, it would add it to both of these key groups because I'm at this level. And if I go to the program level, it'll add it to every key group in the entire program. So hopefully that is um, easy enough to understand. So now again, why would you do it this way instead of the way we just did it? Because now I can come in and I can choose, let's say let's choose this LFO and I can change the frequency of that one individually. And now we have different frequencies for different layers. So that gives you more flexibility if you need that. But um, if you don't, you can just use one LFO and that's going to be easier housekeeping than having all the separate ones. If you, if you don't intend to have a different function, for each of your, your key groups or for each of your layers, it probably is a lot easier just to do it at the program level and affect all of the individual um, all the individual layers or key groups or oscillators with just one LFO. So let's say for instance, I want to uh, do a vibrato, okay? So I don't really have the option of doing a vibrato in this section because there is no pitch. There's no pitch here, there's no pitch here, there's only pitch at the oscillator level. So what I can do is come into here. First, I want to, again, make sure I'm at the program level if I wanna change the pitch of all the oscillators. And I wanna go here and choose add modulator and I wanna to go to key group and uh, add LFO. So, um, Actually, you know what? I didn't want to do that. It works, but now I don't have control over all of them with one LFO. But again, you can edit them all at the same time. So if, I'm, if I go here and I want to change the frequency, it's going to change all the frequencies at the same time because I'm at the program level. So I'm editing all of the uh, LFOs. So if I look at the individual LFOs here, they're all set to the same thing. So as long as I go up here and um, do it from the top level, it'll work. And if I wanted to, I can go and individually change the frequency of one or the other ones, and it will be independent from the rest. But perhaps an easier way to do it, I'm going to like reload that uh, program without all the alterations. So now we're back to the regular program. Probably a better way of doing it if I wanted to change the pitch is to go to the program level and add a program level oscillator. And that's basically for housekeeping purposes. If I never intend to uh, change the individual LFOs to separate settings, just to have one at the program level just keeps things simpler and easier to deal with. And then I get my modulation. To turn it up a bit, turn up the uh, extremeness of it. <laughs> so now I just have this one LFO that is assigned to all of my pitches of all of my oscillators. So that's how that works. And if you keep in mind that you need to make sure you know where you are here before you're assigning your modulators, and if you understand uh, that you have these three options 
depending on where you are of where to set the 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 LFO at or what layer to set it at, then you you'll be good to go. And if you sit down and kind of think about it a bit, it'll, it'll become second nature, and you'll be able to do modulations pretty easy and pretty painlessly. And ultimately, what this means is that it's just easier to deal with things um, when you have a really complex patch, or at least it's more flexible. You have more flexibility. You have the ability to do whatever you can imagine. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and um, have fun creating music. And again, this is a great synth if you are... Uh, especially if you're someone who likes to make your own sounds, this one is going to, to pretty much take care of you pretty well. So again, thanks for watching and have fun being creative.